Good morning, Monday. Great to have you with us. It is a early Monday morning workout. I know the way I'm feeling. The alarm came super fast this morning, and it's also kind of a rainy, thunderstorming day this morning here in Tennessee. So definitely could have slept in today, but we didn't. We are here. We've got coffee, Barbara. We are going to get through it. Good morning, Tamara. She promised she'd be here and she's here. Yes. Awesome. I know it's tough getting up early on a Monday, especially. All right, you guys, here's what you will need for today's workout. Go ahead and get set up. You'll always need your mat and today you will need hand weights. Good morning, Helene in Florida. Good morning. We're going to be doing some lunges with a curl. We're going to be doing some deadlifts with a back row, um, a sumo and a punch. So I've got a couple of weights set out. There's Kenya. Good morning, Kenya. I've got my 10s, my 12s, and I have a 25 pound kettlebell. Okay. So you'll kind of need a lightweight and a, there is Emily. Good morning, Emily. Good morning. Welcome back, Pamela, after her vacation. Great to have you back on a Monday. I know lots and lots of vacations happening this month, especially last week with the holiday. So if you're starting back, if today's day one all over again, go light. Use body weight only if you need to. Just get back into the swing of it, okay? The important thing, Pamela, and I know Emily was here some last week. There's Beverly Clayton. Good morning, Beverly. The important thing is to reestablish the habit. There's An Andrea. Good morning, Andrea. Reestablish the habit. Start getting up again, laying out your clothes, all that good stuff. And then you will definitely be back in no time. Just give it a week and be kind to yourself, all right? Let's start with some body weight squats, you guys. Just a few minutes ago, I could hear thunder rolling through the, the uh, my area. Anybody else have storms this morning? Good morning, Yolandria. Good morning, Tasha Sims. Yes, Anita's here. There's Keisha Bond. Good morning, y'all. All right, keep squatting. We are warming up our bodies, getting our heart rate up, getting our blood flowing a little bit. This is the wake up squats. Good morning, Joda. All right, y'all, here we go. Good. Let's do some arm circles. Good job, Keisha. Arm circles, all right, get a little bit bigger. So today's workout is full body. Kimberly's here, Christina's here. The gang is all here today. <laughs> Good morning, Carol Cobb. All right, you guys, now let's reverse those circles. Reverse arm circles. Good. Reverse circles, now get a little bit bigger. That's it, warm up those shoulders, you guys. All right, shake it out. I was hitting, hitting burnout. Good morning, everybody. Let me turn that up just a hair. All right, let's do some knee drivers. Let's go from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get your knee up, seven, eight, nine, 10, there's Crystal, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's take it into some air back flies, y'all. Flatten out your back, here we go, body weight only. Two, three, that's it, Erica. Four, five, come on, arms, six, seven, eight so i know it's a monday morning i know it's 5 a.m all that stuff we're here together we're gonna get through it okay warm up your body the the warm-up is always gonna feel tough because you've just rolled out of bed right all right let's do some air jacks here we go air jacks i meant to say low jacks but you know what i mean you know what i mean melita here we go, air jacks. This really helps to get our uh, blood pressure up, body temperature up. Let's go into a full jumping jack. Here we go for 20. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, how are we doing? Good. Let's get some coffee and talk about today's workout, okay? And before we do anything else, I wanna thank today's sponsors. I wanna thank Carol Cobb, who is in class every morning at five o'clock. Thank you, Carol, for sponsoring today. Thea Morant, thank you, thank you. She also is a 5 a.m. regular. And then a 9 a.m. regular is Rachel K. Wells. So thank you, Rachel, Carol, and Thea. Cheers to you guys. Sponsors, y'all are amazing. You keep us on the air every day. Thank you, thank you. Here's what we're gonna do today. We have a full body workout. I'm looking over at it. Lots of combinations combined with cardio. So we're gonna start it with a squat. Good morning, Thea. Thea, I hope you caught that. I was just saying thank you to Thea for sponsoring today's class. Thank you. And if you ever get to a race day and you can chase Thea the whole way, she is fast. She is one fast little runner. <laughs> All right, y'all, we've got a squat and an oblique crunch combination for 20. Then we're gonna go straight into a power jack, okay? It's a upper core and then it's a, uh, <laughs> and then it's a cardio, okay? We've got each of those 20 repetitions, three rounds, let's get to it. We're gonna go through all those, then we'll take a water break. So the squat crunch looks like this. You're going to squat and then come straight up into an oblique crunch, crunch, just like that, okay? Hands in the middle, there's no weight involved on this one. Here we go, 10 each side. One, one, two, two, three, four, five, crunch, six, crunch, seven, crunch, eight, crunch, nine, crunch, 10, 11, 12, crunch, 13, you got it, 14, come on Carol, 15, crunch, 16, yes, 17, uh, 18, uh, 19, one more, and 20, all right? I can feel my heart rate coming up already. Good morning, Kim. Headed to the airport, have a safe trip, you guys. All right, next up, grab one wing. You're gonna do a power jack for 20. Feet together, weight right here. With a power jack, you're pushing the weight over your head for 20. Deep breath, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Whew, bring the weight down. Good morning, Patty. Now on that one, if you need a low modification, you're going to keep one foot on the ground if you can't do the full jack, okay? Whew. Breathe, breathe. Let your heart rate come down a little bit. Second set of the squat oblique crunch coming up. Ready? Not sure? All right, one more deep breath. Here we go, squat, crunch. Let's do it. Squat, crunch, two, three, four, knee up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 squat, oops, 11, 12, it has me wanting to go opposite, 13, 14, do it with me, 15, 16, 17, 18, that's a different variation, 19 and 20. Isn't that funny? That's what felt like was the natural thing to do on that one. <laughs> All right, get a quick drink. We're still on round one, you guys, meaning circuit one in the middle of, of the second set. 
All right, ready? Here we go. Second set of your power jacks. Use a hand weight. Here we go, Tasha Sims. Wait here, 20 power jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, catch your breath. That is the end of round two. We've got one more round to go. Just tap, walk it back and forth. Get ready for that third and final set. How are we doing, Crystal Sims? It's actually a miracle. We've got two sisters, both Tasha and Crystal, in class at the same time. Yes! Yes! You must have coordinated schedules on that one, ladies. <laughs> I've been trying to get the gang back together. Here we go. Squat with a crunch, okay? You can come into a cross crunch or you can stick to the oblique crunch. Here we go. And one, one, two, three, four. You did it, Crystal. Five, six, seven. Come on, Melita. Eight, crunch, nine, crunch, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, you're kidding me, 18, 19, 20, Ugh. they said no coordination, just twin telepathy, I love it, I bet that actually happens a lot, doesn't it? All right, last set of these power jacks, y'all. Ready? Grab your weight. Big cardio. Grab your weight. Feet together. Let's go for 20, and then we're moving on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Whew. All right, I tell you what, I tell you what, my heart rate is up. Let's do a quick check-in. That really was like a warm-up round. Your body's internal temperature is coming up. You're starting to sweat. You're more awake than you were before. All good signs, y'all. Here's what's coming up next. We're gonna lunge back, lunge back, come up into, into a curl. We've got that for 20. Then we're gonna go down to our mat and do a plank with a renegade row. That's a plank with a row in the middle, okay? We can do this, Barbara. Whew, catch your breath. I think we're ready, y'all. Let's start with the lunge. Remember, go light. You can always go heavier. You can always go heavier. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Y'all, that was a butt kicker. Those two combined were a butt kicker. My apologies for that. <laughs> my apologies and you're welcome. Ready? Here's your starting spot. Feet together, go back, and curl. Here we go. One, curl. Two, <laughs> curl. <laughs> Whoops. Three, I lost my balance. Four, that's it, Erica. Five, come on, Kenya. Six, lunge, curl. Seven, that's it. Eight, these feel like recovery lunges after that last one. Nine, curl. 10, good. 11, 12, keep your shoulders back. 13, chin up. 14, yes. 15, 16. 17, 18, you got it, Tasha. 19, last one, and 20, good. Now take one of those weights. You're gonna go to your mat, place it on the center of your mat. We're gonna straddle over top in a plank. 
and alternating row for 20. I want you to go with lighter weights. Ready? If you need a modification, you're gonna do a plank hold. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Keep going, Keisha. Four, five. We've got Keisha Vaughn today. Six, and Keisha Faust. Seven, eight. Renegade rows. Nine, come on, Tamara. 10, halfway, you got this. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, four more. 17, 18, 19, last one, and 20. Bring it down. All right, deep breath. <laughs> Our heart rate is staying up after that first circuit, okay? That was round one. Let's go round two. <laughs> All right, we're trying to keep our heart rate up. That's why we're doing supersets today. Pick your starting spot, Carol. Feet together. Here we go. Rear lunge and curl. Two. That's it. Three. Curl. Four. Five, that's it. Six, keep going. Seven, eight, the important thing is to keep moving. Nine, 10, 11, curl, light weights. 12, curl, 13, 14, 15, that's it, Andrea. 16, four more, y'all. 17, curl, 18, alternating lunges, 19, and 20. Good. Out of these two movements, I'm thinking for most people, at least for me, the renegade row is tougher. I'm gonna go with a heavier weight, just moving up from 10 to 12. So go up slightly if you can, or if you wanna take both your weights, you can use that as a handle. Your option there. Ready? Here we go, Barbara. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep sweating. Eight, nine, ten. Halfway. Eleven, Emily. Twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ugh. Oh man. All right, second round done. Just stay right here. <laughs> Just stay right here, grab a drink, grab a drink. We're out of breath. That's the design of it. Stacking and stacking and stacking. So your heart rate never comes too far down. I would say we're all in the right zone. If you're out of breath, sweat is starting to roll down your face. That is a good song, sign, okay? You're doing great, Helene. All right, on our last round of lunges, here's your opportunity on the lunge curl to go a little bit heavier. What we're gonna do, <laughs> woo wee, she said. It's a woo break. Yes, last round of these. Here's your chance to go a little bit heavier if you want to, Tasha Bradley. We're gonna go back into the lunge, lunge, and then curl at the bottom, and then come up. Okay, Anita? Ready? Grab those weights. Here's your starting spot, let's do it. One, curl, stick with that same leg. Two, curl, and up. Three, curl, that's it, Helene. Four, curl, knees are harder. Why? Five, five, because you're in that static lunge. Six, six, four more. Seven, seven, curl. Eight, 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 two more. 
nine, nine, nine. One more. 10, 10, 10. Good, switch sides. Here we go. Last side. Here's your starting spot. Go back. One, 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 and up. Two, 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 and up. That's it, Catherine. Three, three, three. Second leg. Four, four, four. We're curling at the bottom. Five, five, five. Keep that knee behind your toe. Six, six, six. Seven, seven. Seven. Up. Eight. 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 Two more. Nine. 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 I wanted to curl right there. And ten. 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 And up. Excellent job. Let's go back to your mat. The last set of your renegades. Sweat is now steadily coming down. Ready? Here we go. Go into a plank formation. Remember, you can do a static plank if you're struggling with the row part of it. Let's do it. One, two, three. You can do this, Bradley. Four, five. I know you can. Six, keep counting with me. Seven, eight, nine. Get to 10. 10, halfway. 11, 12. If you need a quick break, 13, take a break, 14, and then get back into it, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Ugh. all right, breathe, all right, y'all, here is your, your transition, we're going to transition into two new moves. Breathe, catch your breath, towel off. Good job, y'all. We're in uh, circuit three, halfway point. After this will be the halfway point. We're gonna do a sumo into a punch. Sumo into a punch. Then we're gonna do an inchworm. I know how much you guys complain about inchworms. We do those because they make us stronger, right? We're only got the hard stuff on here so that we can get stronger we can lean out, we can <laughs> build muscle, all those awesome things that we're trying to do. I got a little bit loud on me. All right, so sumo with a punch. Your first round of sumo punches, no weights. We can add weights on our second one, okay? So go into a wide stance squat. You're gonna squat, punch, squat, punch, okay? Here we go, you can do this, Bradley. And one, punch, two, three, four, five, six. Tighten your core, seven, eight. Keep your hands up, nine, 10. Protect your chin, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Five more, five, four, three, two, Helene, and one. Good job. All right, second one is your inchworm. So with the inchworms, remember, you're starting at the back of your mat, you're walking it out, you've got 10. Do your best, okay? Now, if you're a beginner, in the period I get 10, you may only get eight, but I want you to keep moving, okay? At no point are you shutting down. No, you're not. One, walk it out into a plank, walk it back up. You're not shutting down, you're just gonna keep on moving. Your pace might be slower than mine, but you're still gonna do the work. Two up, isn't that right, Keisha? Three, three out, three back up, and squeeze. So I think the challenge in this round, four out, four up, is the inchworm. You got this, Anita. Five out. Five out, five up. These are making your push-ups stronger. Six, six out, six up. Good, squeeze. Seven out, 
That's it, Christina. Seven up. Eight out. Eight out. Eight up. Last two. You got this, Kenya. Nine out. Nine. And walk it back up. Last one, and then we're going back to sumos. And 10 out, 10 up. Ooh. Good. So not only is that building upper body strength, that's engaging the core. You get a nice little stretch of your hamstrings at the top. That's why I love a good inchworm. All right, who's got light weights? If you want to, you can do you can do ankle weights and put them up around your wrist. I've got a pair of eight pounders. <laughs> We've turned it quickly into a prayer session, I can see. <laughs> All right, y'all. Remember, sumo position. You're gonna sumo, punch, sumo, punch, okay? If you're holding weights, you can hold them wherever it's comfortable. That's just taking it to the next level, ready? or you can hold it right here. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, five, punch, six, punch, seven, eight, nine, 10. You can also do body weight only, 11, whichever you wanna do, 12, that's it, Pamela, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Bring it back in. All right, set those weights to the side. We're, we're so quickly back into inchworms. How do we, how do we <laughs> say a little prayer for me too? Say a prayer for your trainer. All right, let's go back into inchworms again. These get easier in the second set. Didn't you know that? They do. I promise you the second set day is easier. Here we go, ready? Start at the back of your mat, hands out, and walk it out. Now most people say it's the walking it back in part that's harder. Squeeze. That's one down, nine to go. Two, two. Walk it out, walk it in. Three, walk it out. Three. So I'm wondering to myself, is it triceps? What is the muscle? Four out, four, four back in. We need to build to make these easier for some folks. Five out. So when you bring it back in, tell me, is it the tricep muscle you're feeling? Six out. Six, that's it, Emily. Six. This is the first week workout in two weeks that Emily's been at home. Seven, she's been traveling. Seven, she's been down in Florida. Seven, up. So she's back from her home studio. Eight out, eight up. Nine out, nine up. One more. Last one, and then we're back to sumos. Recovery sumos, don't you love that? Last one, how? Everything's perspective. So, a sumo squat, a sumo squat next to an inchworm makes the sumo squat look like a recovery movement. All right, get a drink. Here we go, Carol, we've got one more round of that sumo punch complex. She said, missing the beach, aw, and all the bike riding. How many miles total did you log while you were down there? Because I know you hit a really big, a, a really big number down there, Emily. Yes, <laughs> yes, Helene. Okay, Crystal said she feels it in her shoulders and her wrists. Okay, good to know, good to know. We're, we're gonna strengthen different muscles to make those inchworms easier for you, Crystal, okay? All right, y'all, if you can use a bigger weight, last round of the sumo punch. She said, 
240 miles logged on her bike over a two week period. Holy crap, Emily. You did that. You did that. Here we go, y'all. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, sumo and punch, five, punch, six, use your weights, seven, eight, punch, nine, come on, Yolandrea, 10, punch, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, punch, 17, three more, 18, 19, and 20. Those are tough. All right, as you added the weight, I don't know who felt that, but I went from body weight to eight pounders to 10 pounders. Definitely made that one tougher. Yes, we are proud of you. Super proud of you, Emily. That would be a great vacation to have. Go down to the beach, bring your bike, ride your bike every day. That would literally be the vacay of a lifetime for me. All right, my advanced students, add that push up at the bottom. Everybody else, just get through them. You've got 10 of these. Tasha Bradley, I'm gonna need at least eight of these, okay? That is your goal, okay? Catch me on that. Bradley, eight. Here we go. Walk it out. Push up if you can. One, walk it back in. It's okay if it takes a while. Just get the work done. Two out, two down. That's it, Emily. Squeeze. Three. Three out, three down. Good, Thea. Four out, four out, four push. All the way up. Squeeze. Five out, here's the halfway point. Five, up. Come on, inchworms. Finish strong. Six, Anita. Six, all the way up. Squeeze. Seven out, seven out, seven down. That's it, Dana. Here's eight, eight out, eight down. Two more. Two sets of one. We can do this. Two sets of one, Crystal. Nine, nine. One set of one. One set of one. Come on, Tasha Sims. And walk it back up. All right, bring it in. Bring it in, let's talk. We did that, okay? We got the inchworms done. They weren't the finisher. They were just smack dab in the middle. <laughs> All right, y'all, we've got two more circuits, one finisher, and we're out of here. Monday boot camp is not disappointing. Our heart rates are up, we're sweating, all of those things. Yes! She did pass her goal. She got nine in with the push-ups, I love it. I love this next circuit. It's a deadlift with a back row and your cardio is a twisty top. Now I've heard through the grapevine, twisty tops are not everybody's favorite. The important thing is to pick a cardio that you enjoy. Pick a cardio that you enjoy. So if twisty tops are not your thing, Barbara, <laughs> then pick something that you do enjoy. Here's what we're gonna do on our deadlifts. Pick a, a medium weight to start, okay? It looks like this. You're gonna deadlift down while you're down there, back row, then you're gonna come up, okay? The tempting part is to come all the way up when you're down there. So I'll coach you through it. I'm gonna say deadlift down, back row up, down, all the way back up, okay? Here we go. Twisty tops. I think they're kind of fun too. They at least make us look goofy, Tamara. Here we go, y'all. Ready? Get ready for a deadlift. We've got 15 of these. Deadlift down, row, row, all the way up and squeeze. Here's two. Two down, row, row, all the way up, squeeze. Three down, row, 
row, all the way up. Here's four, four down, row, row, all the way up. Here's five, five, row, row, all the way up. Here's six, six down, row, row, all the way up. Here's seven, seven down, row, and up. You got it? Eight, row, row, and up. Squeeze, nine, row, row, and up. 10, row, row, and up. 11, row, row, and up. 12 down, row, row, and up. 13, row, we've got two more, here we go. 14, 14, up. 15, row, row, and up, yes. So there is a little choreography on those. They're a little bit different, but we do them anyway. It's important you get that nice hold in the deadlift, a nice stretch while you're rowing, okay? <laughs> I told Barbara, it's like, it's like inchworms. If we're gonna start with I don't like something, then we're just gonna keep doing it. We're gonna keep doing it. We're gonna keep doing it until you're like, I love twisty tops. <laughs> Ready? Here we go, twisty tops. Feet this way, hands this way, and you're gonna rotate and hop like the spin cycle. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. It's weird, I know. Did it make you smile? Did you feel it through here? All good signs. All right, go heavier on these deadlifts if you can. Grab a heavier weight. Here we go, second round. Now that you've got it on the deadlifts, I'm not gonna coach you as much. Deadlift down, row it, come all the way back up at the top. That's how you reset. The next round. Here we go for 15, y'all. And deadlift. One. Two. 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 Up. Three. 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 Up. Four. Five. Row. Row. Up. Six. Seven. Eight. You got this, Carol. Nine. Come on, Melita. 10. 11. Four more. 12. 12. 13, Kenya. 14. 15, 15, 15, and up. Good, set those down. All right, second set of your twisty tops. Let's see what she said. Okay, she's gotta get to work early. See you tomorrow. Twisty tops, remember, you really wanna feel that trunk rotation. In addition to the hopping, feel it through here. Build that core and really pop it. Here we go, twisty tops. Sorry, sorry, I gotta get started. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Breathe, breathe. All right, get a quick sip, and then we've got um, one more round of that, okay? Five circuits today. This is number four. You're almost there, ladies. Don't give up. Do not give up on me. Do not give up on each other. Do not give up on yourself. Ready? Deadlift with a row at the bottom. You've got this. Ready? Here we go. Toes forward. 
slightly, uh, well, basically shoulder width apart. Straight leg deadlift, row at the bottom, 15, here we go. One, 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 two, three, Four, keep going, Tamara. Five, five, six, I can see the sun coming up. Six, seven, seven, seven. That's it. Eight, one of these days, I'm gonna be able to seal my concrete. Nine, 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 I got a new patio. 10, 10, 10, it has rained every day. 11, since we got the the sealant. <laughs> 12, 12, 12, 13, 13, slowing down. 14, 14, 14. One more. 15, 15, 15, and up. Those are killer. All right, twisty tops coming up. And if you need an alternative, just make sure it's a good one and it keeps your heart rate up, okay? Here we go, last set of these and we're moving on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's it. Good job, y'all. All right, let your heart rate come down just a little bit. That is round four complete, circuit four. Coming up next, we're gonna go to our mat. We're gonna do a glute raise with a chest press. So your hips are coming up while you're pressing your chest. The second one we're gonna do is called a plank pull across. We're gonna put one weight here, one weight here, and we're gonna pull it across. Then we're gonna take that weight, we're gonna put it back, and we're gonna put it back. So it's a plank, but instead of going this way to this way, and this way to this way, we're doing diagonals with two different weights, okay? So let's take it to your mat. Here we go, Carol. Go down. That's it, Patty. Grab a weight that's a medium weight for you. I'm gonna grab my 15s as a perfect chest press weight for me with high repetitions. So your knees are bent. When you go up into a chest press, your hips are gonna come up and you're gonna squeeze. Here we go for 15. One, two, three. Squeeze those hips. Four, five. I feel that in my abs. Six, anybody else? Seven, eight. Come on, Keisha Vaughn. Nine, come on, Keisha Liggins. 10, 11, Yolandria. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good, bring it down, roll it up. All right, next up we've got the plank pull across. So I'm not sure if those are gonna be too heavy for this movement. Start in a plank formation, and go ahead and set up like you're gonna do a renegade row, okay? Your weights are up here. I'll do one and then I want you guys to jump in. We've got 12 of these, okay? Each one counts as one. Go up into a plank, grab, grab this weight and set it by your toe. Come back up, grab this weight, set it by your toe. That's one, two, here we go. And one, up, two, up, three, down, four, down, grab it, five, up, six, up, seven, down, eight, bring it down, nine, up, ten, up, two more, eleven, down, and twelve, down, good, walk it up, all right, those are a little different, we, we have done those once before. I really like them actually. <laughs> it's almost like each time you're going up into a pike and you're pulling that weight across, okay? 
Here we go, second set. We've got 15. Home stretch, you guys. This and a finisher, and you're done. Ready? Here we go for 15. One, finish strong, Thea. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Go ahead, bring it down, roll it up. Let's go back to plank position. Here we go, y'all. We've got 12. Put your weights at the top of the mat, and it's a pull across in diagonal, okay? Here we go, Joda. Ready? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's halfway, eight, up, nine, down, ten, down, eleven, up, and twelve, up. Good stuff, y'all. We've actually got one more round of that. She's got to get ready for work. Okay, welcome back from vacation, Joda. We're going to do one more set of that while we're set up for this. All right, let's go straight back into plank, and we're done with it, okay? Here we go, y'all. Last set of 12 of these. Let's do it. Go up into plank. Here we go. And pull it across. One, two, back up, three. Every time you're returning to plank. Four, plank. Five, go direct diagonal. Six, seven, diagonal. Eight, four more. Nine, up, 10, up, 11, last one, and 12. Good. All right, set it to the side. Man, y'all, I don't know what those did, but it got me sweating again hard. All right, flip it back over. The last set, best set of your glute chest press, and then we'll do our finisher. The finisher is a quickie. That's gonna take less than two minutes. Ready? Knees bent, weights up, deep breath. Here we go. Come on, Barbara. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze to the top. Eleven. 12, three more, 13, 14, and 15, good. Roll it up, good stuff, y'all. All right, set your weights to the side. You are not gonna need them for this last cardio finisher. What we've got, it's really, really simple. We've got, let me flip this up just a little bit. There we go. All right, we've got three movements jacks, side hops, and burpees. Now we can start with burpees, we can finish with burpees. We can put those burpees anywhere y'all want to, okay? I know sometimes they're the most dreaded move, but you know, the more you do those, the easier they get. So you're welcome on that one, okay? You're welcome, consider that a gift. We are gonna do five at the beginning, Five at the end, okay? Five and five, and some jacks and sides in the middle. Ready? Get ready, burpees. Modify if needed. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four, Melita. Four. Five. Five, five, there 
you go. There you go. It's just five. <laughs> Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know. How are they ever going to know? <laughs> All right, ready? 20 jumping jacks, y'all. Ready? <clears throat> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In and out. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Heart rates up. This is your finisher. 20 side hops. Ready? Here we go, side hoppers. One, two, three. Land on one foot. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick back. Eleven, twelve. Carlton. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. You know what's next? That's right. The other five burpees. You're welcome, Anita. You're welcome, Joda. Ready? Let's get these done, y'all. Move on. And one. One. Two. Two, Carol. Three. Three, four, four, five, five, five. I'm not sure if that was five or six. <laughs> I couldn't remember where I had counted. All right, y'all. Walk it out. Tap from side to side. We did it. Let's get a little. Let's get a little stretch and cool down in. All right, you guys, the 10 day deficit continues. We have not stopped. Kind of depends on where you started. I started on the 7th of last week. So my last day will be the 17th. Let's cross one leg over the top. My last day would be the 17th. And I'm actually going straight into a vacation. So I'm gonna continue trying to hit that deficit. I think I did great all of last week. Friday night, I kind of I kind of got a little wonky. I had fried pickles. Got right back on it. Saturday, I was solid. Saturday, I did two workouts. Ate salmon and veggies. Really, really solid Saturday. Sunday, again, as we go through the weekend and we have less structure, but if you're hitting deficits overall, you're still doing the work, okay? So if you've not been great, remember hit reset today. Monday is always a new day, right Barbara? Right Carol, Melita, Keisha Faust with her cute hair. Stand tall, stretch. So the goal is if you're not tracking, get tracking starting immediately. Why tracking? I mean, nobody likes it, let's just be honest. No one loves sitting there entering information into my fitness pal but we do the work so that we can find out the results. Right, Jackie? That's it, Andrea. Reset, okay, bring it in. If you wanna hit the reset button, bring it in right now. Bring, bring it in, we're waiting on you, come on. Get it in there, and bam, okay? That's your reset button. We're gonna do this together this week. You gotta be solid Monday through Friday. Really, really count your calories. Make sure you know how much ranch dressing are you pouring all over that salad. Okay, get your water up, sugar down, protein up, breads and carbs down, okay? Good job, Tamara. Day five for Melita, I love it. I think today for me is day, um, is day six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So today's day six for me. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye, Pamela, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Bye, y'all. Have a great Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.